You guys all see the clock on the screen. Kuba went over time. It wasn't my fault. It was. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll be was, better next time. Your fault. It literally was your fault. Just don't put Moving. it on my. Just don't put it on my quarterly evaluation, please. <laughs> <laughs> I will be brief, as this does somewhat dovetail into what Kuba was talking about. Uh, as most of the discourse today has centered around the Biden administration and its inability to challenge the GOP and its goal to roll back civil rights and voter suppression laws, as being unable to push through any economic reform for the majority of Americans suffering during a deadly pandemic, I can't stop to think about how all of this plays out in a sort of a scene reality show. Politics as theater. This is a new phenomenon, and it didn't start with Trump either. Much of what I see is inside baseball talk about political strategy, ineffectiveness of progressives, and of course, the impotence of the Biden administration to deliver for the people that put him in office. But maybe we're wrong. And the administration is delivering for the real people that put it in office. We haven't seen a rollback on Trump's tax cuts, Biden's foreign policy, while it promised on the campaign trail to lead the nation back to the good and respectable global police. It was apparently before Trump took office. It has not. The Biden administration rejoined the Paris Climate Accord and canceled the Keystone XL pipeline. The administration did remove the Clean Energy Performance Program out of their Build Back Better bill at the behest West Virginia's Joe Manchin. During the CO, the COP26 climate conference, the Biden administration announced the selling of 80 million acres of Gulf Coast for oil and gas drilling leases. With all this said in the midst of a midterm election year, what is the cry from the majority of talking heads and political insiders? Primary Biden. Sure, but with who? And what do people expect will happen? Every major political event in this country, from the abolition of slavery to civil rights to the New Deal, has a long, hard-fought battle rooted in the working class. Nostalgic revisions of FDR to LBJ have many looking for an enigmatic figure that leads us out of the capitalist nightmare. We recently did an interview with journalist, scholar, educator, and most importantly, activist Chris Hedges for The Real News yesterday. And in uh, a new article that uh, Hedges wrote in Counterpunch, he writes, the question Karl Popper reminded us is not how we get good people to rule. Most of those attached to power, figures such as Joe Biden, are at best mediocre, and many such as Dick Cheney, Donald Trump, or Mike Pompeo are venal. The question is rather, how do we organize institutions to prevent incompetent or bad leaders from inflicting too much damage? How do we pit power against power? We've mentioned on this podcast several times and we'll discuss in the champagne room, but primaries and rhetorically calling to push candidates left without a movement rooted in real working class struggle might be the definition of inertia. So if you're a patron, the link is up. We'll see you soon. If not, sign up. Patreon.com backslash Bitter Lake presents and be a part of this discussion. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe on your way out. You can catch the live stream of This Is Revolution every Tuesday through Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific time and Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific time. This is Revolution.